Hello from San Antonio, this is Siren Tayro. Welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. How is he or she feeling now that you have moved on? Subscribers request. So maybe there was someone you were chasing after. Maybe there was someone you were slobbering all over at Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, X, WhatsApp, Discord, and you stopped. You're putting your energy into something else. How do they feel about that? This reading is timeless, and for this reading, there are four different options. This is option one. An ACO I purchased at eBay. 2026-2022 series, Absolutely Abstract, Karen Warren, KT Artistry. Big fan of Karen Warren's work. This is Pile 2, also Karen Warren, from her 2022 series, Absolutely Gorgeous. And this is Pile 3, Karen Warren, 2022 series. And this is Quattro, Pile 4, this is June 2020, Flow, by Tamina M. Purchase these ACOs at eBay. As always, timestamps will be provided. Think of your person of disinterest, the person you're curious about, the person you've moved on from, and make your selection. If you chose the first card, here is your reading. And I am starting with the Pulp Tarot. Seven of Wands, Siete de Bastos, Nine of Swords, Nueve de Espadas, The Emperor. Big King Daddy. I get the sense already this person's putting on quite the show, quite the front. The casual observer would think this person just has the world in the palm of their hand. They're just killing it. They're out there hustling, making money, feeling no pain, but this person has no peace. They could be obsessing over you. Let's get some more cards and find out. And I cannot recall the name of this tarot deck. I don't keep the boxes. I don't keep the little white books. So I don't know. I keep the box that this one came in because it's sturdy. The pulp tarot. The sturdy box. Okay. Deus de Oros, Ten of Pentacles, Deus de Espadas, Ten of Swords, Deus de Oros, Two of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles, Cinco de Oros, Four of Hearts, Four of Cups, Cuatro de Copas. This person's not happy. Two of the biggest red flags, well, three, I would say the three biggest red flags in the deck, five of pentacles, four of cups, and the nine of swords. This person is not, they're not in the best place. Seven of pentacles, I think they They're hoping that you will come back. They're hoping that you will decide to fuck with them again. This person's very stubborn, very arrogant. This person may or may not be a narcissist, but I am seeing narcissistic traits. Very selfish, not that good at intimacy. Um, their energy is very masculine, 
We have the most masculine card in the deck, the so-called Divine Masculine, the Emperor, Mars, Aries. They're also very moody, and I'm getting strong cardinal energy because I always think of Cancers when I see the Four of Cups. So they could have Sun and Aries, Moon and Cancer, Leo rising in seven decks, seven of wands is Mars and Leo. Um, but they're very stubborn, very selfish. Appearance is everything. This person's not going to show their vulnerability, certainly not on social media. I feel like for most of you, this person has moved on. They're in a relationship, but it's not a happy relationship. If this was third party, if they chose someone else over you, it may have been status quo. It may have been because a lot of money was involved. But if they are currently in a relationship, I don't see them doing well. I don't see them being happy. This person's miserable. So what I get at Ending on Seven of Pentacles, they're waiting. They're hoping that you will decide to message them again. They feel like the ball is in your court because they are very proud, very arrogant. They're not going to reach out to you. I wouldn't touch this energy with a 10-foot pole. I would feel relieved to have this person out of my life, but we're all on our own path. Um, Gary. The name Gary just popped into my head. Gary. Gary, Indiana. Garrett. The last name, Green, Grayson, Gray, I don't know. Um, but I feel like this person is abusive. They could be verbally abusive. They may have been um, really terse in their communication with you. They may have displayed ambivalence, hot and cold behavior. This person's basically never satisfied. The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. So when they're in a relationship, they're thinking about the person they could be with. Is what I'm getting for pile one. So yeah, that's what I see. That's what I have. I hope that helps. I'm always available for private readings. All the infos in every box. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. And if you chose pile two, card number two, here's your reading, starting with the pulp tarot. Six of cups, ace to copas, page of swords, so that they espadas, the magician, el mago. Princess of the Espadas, Princess of Swords, Page of Swords, Ace of Espadas, Six of Swords, Ocho de Oros, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, for most of you, I would say this is not a crush. This is not a casual flirtation. This is someone you actually lived with. You may have been married or you may have just lived together, but I feel like this was a full-on relationship. And you could have a kid or kids with this person. Three of spades, three of swords, trace the espadas, three of clubs, three of wands, trace the bastos, and two of hearts, two of cups, those the copas. Okay, to start with Six of Cups and to end with Two of Cups, this tattoo is driving me crazy. I'm not supposed to scratch it, but it's itching like a motherfucker. This is the most painful tattoo I ever got. It looks terrible, I know, but it's uh, spikes. It's frequency, audio, sound waves for my quote-unquote record label, record label Swoon Cake Records. I like to fuck around at the Bethel Studio and make videos at YouTube. Anyway, starting with Six of Cups, ending with Two of Cups, I would say this person is currently in love with you. 
They could regard you as the love of their life. They could regard you as the one that got away. They could regard you as a soulmate. Similar to pile one, this person could currently be in a relationship. But if they are, I don't feel like they're happy. I feel like it's long distance and it's not official. So they could be talking to someone, but it's not official. And I would say they're not in love with this person. Um, for all intents and purposes, it's third party because they're talking to this other person, but they're still very energetically attached to you. They're still in love with you. They've not moved on. Um, and they're sad that you have moved on, that you've stopped contacting them, that you've let go. Um, I can see them watching you on social media. I can see them being wistful. I can see them being jealous. If you've moved on, if you're in another relationship, I can see them being jealous. And there's still some weird optimism. They're hoping the two of you can reconnect reunite, get back together, and try again. I don't see them reaching out to you anytime soon. I feel like they are talking to someone else, and you could be in a relationship as well, and they're just thinking, you know, why even try? It's it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to happen. But there's still this weird optimism. They absolutely have not let go. They've not moved on. So... Um, a possible astral combo for this person. They could have Sun in Libra, Sagittarius rising, Moon in Aquarius. That's just one possibility. You and this person could have a conjunction in Gemini, something like Mars conjunct Venus, perhaps. But again, for Pile 2, I would say this was a relationship. You either live together or you saw each other a lot. There was a lot of exchange, a lot of sex, a lot of communication for pile two. So yeah, that's what I see. That's what I have. I hope that helps. I'm always available for private readings. All the info's in every box. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. And if you chose pile three, this is the only card that has glitter on it. It has gold glitter. You may have noticed. Maybe that's why you chose this, because of the gold glitter. Karen Warren. Starting with the Pulp Tarot, Justice, La Justicia. I love that card. Eight of Wands, Ocho de Bastos. The most positive card in the deck, the sun, El Sol. My son is dropping the F-bomb. He's rather loud, doing gameplay with his best friend, I'm assuming, on the other side of the wall. That's good. He's happy. <laughs> hey, uh, he really gets into the gameplay. Uno mas. El Colgado, Hanged Man, Save of the Basto, Seven of Wands, Seis de Orioles, Six of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, the is the Oros, Queen of Pentacles, Reina de Oros, and Marlon Brando, the wild one, four of clubs, four of wands, cuatro de bastos. I see this person being married. If they are married or in a serious relationship, it's a good one. They are happy. Um, they are okay with you letting go. They are okay with you moving on because after all, it was just a sexual connection. That's what I'm getting. It was casual. It was sexual. It could have been a situationship, friends with benefits maybe, but the two of you did not have much to share beyond the sex. So if you came to the conclusion that this was not going anywhere, it was time to invest your energy and effort elsewhere, that was wise of you. And they know that you were justified in 
turning away from them, blocking them perhaps on all social media. You were justified in doing that. So this person has a fuck ton of masculine energy. They could have sun in Leo, Aries rising, moon in Libra. That's one possibility of many. But that's really strong. That bottom row, two marriage cards sandwiching the wife card, Queen of Pentacles. I do see them either being in a marriage or a serious relationship. And it's happy. It's working. They don't want to hear from you again. So what you had was brief. And it was sexual is what I'm getting from these cards. You won't be hearing from this person again. And that's a good thing. So, Tom, Tommy, Tim, Tyler, Tyrone, T-Rex. Hmm. Maybe they like to listen to T-Rex. I don't know. Um, Transformers. They're a big fan of Transformers. I don't know. Megan. Megan Fox because she was in the Transformers movie. One of them. Anyway, that's what I see for Pile 3. Hope that helps. I'm always available for private readings. All the info's in every box. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. And if you chose Guathro, Pile 4. That is gorgeous. Here is your reading. Starting with the Pulp Tarot, we have the Eight of Cups, Ocho de Copas, the Knight of Pentacles, Caballo de Oros, and the Queen of Pentacles, Reina de Oros. Maybe the Oro is not a pentacles. Those de Bastos, two of wands. This is a super short reading. This will be probably under 25 minutes. I was thinking of doing an all signs for um, extra basic, but my tattoo is driving me crazy. I would be distracted by the tattoo because it itches so damn bad. I'm washing it, I'm slathering it with aloe vera gel, and it's just driving me up the fucking wall. Okay, we have the Seven of Hearts, Seven of Cups, they the Copas, we have the Seven of Clubs, Seven of Wands, they did the Bastos, and we have Six of Spades, Six of Swords, Seis, De Espadas. Um, this person has moved on. Now, I'm seeing a full-on relationship here, similar to... Was it pile two? One of the piles. I'm seeing a relationship. So this was not casual. This was not a flirtation. You probably were exclusive. There was monogamy. You were really fucking with each other. You were really exchanging energy. You may have lived together. Maybe you were married. There could have been, a, there may be, there could be an age gap. You could be a few years older. You could have a conjunction in one of the earth signs, Taurus. Virgo, Capricorn, you could both be Earth signs. A possible astral combo for this person. They could have Sun in Virgo, Leo rising, Moon in Taurus, one possibility of many. You could have Sun in Virgo, Leo rising, Moon in Libra. Um, this person is not currently in a relationship, just going by these cards. Um... They're single and they're liking it. They're focused on work. They're hustling. They're making money. They're not feeling sentimental. <clears throat> they are not currently in the headspace or heart space to be in an exclusive romantic sexual relationship. So if you've stopped contacting them, maybe they were just giving you breadcrumbs and you finally just stopped. You were correct. And they're not going to approach you. They're not going to reach out. They're letting you go very easily. They still dream about you. They could still fantasize about you. Maybe they have some pictures or videos. They could be watching you on social media, which is gross. It's creepy, but it happens. Um, 
dreams, fantasies, that's not the same as a desire to really be in a relationship with someone. So they have no desire to be in a relationship with you at this time. They have let go as well. It just didn't work between the two of you. There were too many obstacles. It could have been distance. Perhaps you're just on very different paths. But <clears throat> they still find you attractive. The sex you had was good. Uh, they value what they had with you, but they've moved on and they're not wanting to reconnect just going by these cards usual caveat this is a pick a card reading i'm reading for a global audience it's not a personal reading so that's what i see for pile four and that does conclude this pick a card reading thank you all so much for watching liking commenting subscribing sharing if you're not getting notifications and you want to get notifications, I've heard the trick is to unsubscribe and then subscribe again, click the bell. Um, I don't know. I've heard from a few different people saying that they're not getting notifications. They're not getting my videos and I am uploading on a pretty regular basis. So yeah. A lot more videos on the way before the month ends. We're in February as I record this. Sending you all massive love and light from San Antonio.